We are announcing Picasso. We we called it Picasso. Picasso is PeopleSoft Intelligence Chat Assistance, and um, there's a lot of things that are different with Picasso versus the chatbots we've seen in the past. But the single biggest change is that we now can have one digital assistant for all PeopleSoft, and it'll figure out what skills it needs to use based on the questions that are asked. Um, so I'll show you a couple of demos of this. But they're role based. Um, they're cluster enabled. So if you have FSCM and HCM, or if you have HCM and ELM, you can cluster those together and have your digital assistant work across the clusters, across multiple skills. Let me show you, I have two, two demos for this. The first one's for an employee role. Um, and the, this is one where I'm an employee, Diana Channing, and I'm gonna go down here and invoke this chatbot. And what you'll see is, when it first starts, and this is all configurable, it'll uh, it'll allow you to, you can see all the different skills and all the different types of questions it can ask. So this is up to you if you configure it this way, but I'm just going to scroll through and look at some of the different skills it has. And then I'm going to say I'm, I'm, I'm planning a vacation. So I'm going to tell that, I'm going to tell the bot I'm planning a vacation. And it's going to ask me, when does it begin? I'm typing in June June 14th. And then it asks when it, it asks, asking when it ends. And so here I, I, I want to make sure that I have coverage. So in the middle of this kind of transaction about uh, putting in my absence, I'm going to, I want to find out if my coworker, Vicky Zinn, is, is, avail, is going to be available to, to cover for me for that time. So in the middle of this transaction, I type, I'm typing look up Vicky Zinn or just type Vicky Zinn's name. And now I'm, now, now I'm moved from absence management over to our company directory. So it's going to give you some you know, the contact information for Vicky Zinn. You say view account details. Um, now I'm going to be able to make a phone call, call Vicky, make sure that she's available um, uh, to, to cover for me. And then I'm asked, do you want to continue with the absence request? So I say, yes, I want to continue with it. And now it goes back into the transaction. Now in absence, when does, when does your absence end? 18th. Going to then ask me, do you want to provide any more documents for this? I'm going to say, no, I'm, I don't need any more documents. And then it's going to say, do you want to provide comments for requesting the absence? Uh, and I'm going to say, I want to say, yes, I do want to provide comments. And so then I can just um, type in my comments. Vicky Zinn will uh, cover for me. And so what that now has done basically is created an app. Well, it's going to ask me, do I want to create this? And if I say yes, it's going to create that absence uh, in the background. Now, just so you know what's happening here, the, the actual digital assistant that you see on the screen here is coming from Oracle Digital Assistant, but it's working with PeopleSoft in the background where we've exposed uh, a number of REST services to be able to handle both the inquiry as well as the updates to create transactions, but also inquiry about information. So I just showed what we just went through was Started with absence management, even though I didn't have to tell it it was absence management, it was that skill. It then went into um, the company directory skill to look up Vicky Zen. And then as I continue, I'm gonna, now I'm interested in, um, I ordered a laptop for my employee, Calvin. So I'm gonna say, where's the laptop I ordered for Calvin? And now it's going to, now it's gonna switch and it, you know, it knows that it, this is a um, uh, e-procurement. So it's gonna now go look in procurement and start getting me information about this. So it pulls up the requisition of the laptop I ordered. I'm gonna click on show transaction details and it'll give me some specifics. It says it's with, appro with approver, with Kenneth kind of Schumacher, Schumacher. So when I say, take me there, it's going to um, open up a tab with the PeopleSoft transaction in, in question. So it has the context. So I can go, I can look at the approval chain, um, I can look at any of the information on this. I can interact with it if I want. Um, and then when I'm done, or so I, I just close that tab and I go back to, um, I'm right back where I was. I'm still on the, the chatbot. So now I want to say, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if I've gotten my paycheck because I got something from the bank and the paycheck was hot. So, um, um, so I said, show my paycheck. Now it's now it's now we're working in payroll. Obviously, uh, it's going to show gross wages, taxes, deductions, and net pay. Um, I want I want to understand what my 
seems my paycheck was too low. So what are my uh, pay deductions? I'm gonna ask what the pay deductions were. It's gonna come back and tell me what my pay deductions were for my last paycheck. Uh, and I can drill in and look at my before tax deductions. And when I look at that, I can see that my medical, uh, my healthcare was higher than I expected. Um, so now I want to go look at my uh, health, my health benefits, the medical benefits, because I don't know why it was so expensive. So now I'm going to go into benefits admin and I ask, uh, show my medical plan. It shows the medical plans. I can see that the new medical plan took, it, took effect on this date. So that's why my costs are higher. Um, so now I want to check. I, I, I attended a, a training, an AI training, and filed an expense report for that. So now I'm going to ask, um, what's the status of my expense report for the AI training? So now we're moving on, and it's going to pull data out of expenses. It's going to pull up the expense report for AI ML training. Allow me, it's, it says it was denied, so I want to see the details of why it was denied. And it's because uh, there, here's the comment on why it was denied. Um, so now we've just pulled up expenses. And now I want to under, uh, I want to look at my W-2. So I can ask to get my W-2. I can click on this and it can show the um, show the details for my for my W-2. And that'll pull up pull up the W-2. So let me see. There we go. W-2. So um, that's that's an example of an employee, and and you know that very different than saying we don't have an absent chatbot and have a directory chatbot and we have a German chatbot and people have to go to those chatbots to find them. Now we have one digital assistant. It figures out what question, what the skills are, um, how to answer the questions based on all the skills it has. And that was for employees. Let me show you an example for suppliers just to give you a sense of how different things are for the roles. This is a different um, assistant and I'm logging in now as, as the supplier and I'm coming in as a, to start with, I'm coming in without authenticating. So I'm, I've come in and I'm, I haven't logged in, so I'm anonymous right now. So a lot of this works for anonymous user. I mean, it works, there's a lot that we provide for anonymous users. So I'm gonna say, you know, how, how can I, how can you help me? And it's gonna list some of the things that the supplier assistant can do. And so I'm gonna ask, you know, what are the, what are the selling opportunities? See what, you know, what I can, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a supplier to this vendor and uh, I wanna know what's, what are some of the opportunities? That what are some of the things they're buying? Here's some of the things that they're buying, or and, and take and go see them. Um, I can also uh, add something specific. So, what are the opportunities to sell computer equipment? Because I'm selling computer equipment. So, if there's too much in that other one, I can narrow it and and look, and it'll give me just the opportunities for computer equipment. Um, and I can scroll through those and then go to the details. I can also ask, you know, what are the events? So there's the, a lot of these companies, a lot of you have events for your vendors, uh, for your suppliers. Um, I can look at what the events are in the next six months and I'll pull up the, the calendar, the supplier calendar. Um, and I'm on the supplier homepage. So this is an external user, right? Very different than the employee internal user. Um, at this point now, I want to actually go sign in. I'm a registered, I'm gonna sign in as a registered user. Hey, Scott. Um, and I'm interested in how many open invoices I have. Um, so this is some of the, you know, these are some of the things that, that, that they can do once you're logged in and you can see it just automatically gives you the logged in role. So I can see how many, uh, how many uh, open invoices do I have? And then the chatbot will come back and give me a list of, the open invoices, which I there's 19 of them, last five. I can scroll through those um, and, and look at them. I can drill into the details of this one. So you can see that it's uh, due to be paid on uh, March 21st and it's, uh, for $217,000. I can see, I see that the 217 is a lot less than the 290, which was invoice. So why is the payment amount? I'm gonna ask why the payment why is the payment amount less than the invoice amount? To see why there's a difference there. And it's gonna go back and look at and get and give some of the ration the reasons for that. So it's not paid in full because some of the quantity was rejected. You can see the receipt history. 
come in here and see that there was 50 of these items that were rejected because they were damaged and there's an RMA number already. Um, so that gives me visibility as a supplier as a, um, uh, into and to interact without having to call someone to take um, I can say, what are the other payments scheduled uh, this week? And here are the other payments. I can drill into the payment details and see 30,000 is coming via check. Um, so then I can see, show me my disputed invoices. So what are the invoices that are under dispute? And then I can see those, I can see that, and then I can go and uh, view the, the resolution here. So it's gonna show me here's the invoice, $50,000 is disputed. I can go and view the dispute resolution, which goes in, uh, in back into PeopleSoft. Mm -hmm.